Welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. This is the Gentle Workout brought to you by Renee. I'm a registered uh, nurse and personal trainer. Welcome. So we began the workout with good posture and I like it. A little bit of marching. Fantastic. And thinking about our um, exercise routine this week. So maybe our habits, how much we enjoy our workouts and also um, the intensity and length of our workouts. So I already know that you're making it a habit to work out, which is fantastic. And we'll just make sure we make it fun. So with that in mind, let's add some angel wings, right? Because they're always fun. Shoulders back, chest out. Very good. Let's do this for 30 seconds. Big deep breath. And elbows out, shoulders back, chest out. Squeezing those beautiful shoulder blades together. Good, big deep breaths. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Let's bring those elbows together. Fantastic. Good opportunity to scratch my nose too. So open, elbows together. Inhaling here. Squeezing the shoulder blades back, exhaling the elbows as close together as possible. Fantastic. Good. One more time. Good job. Good job. Now let's take it to a calf press just on our toes and back down on our toes. Let's go for four. Three. Four, and then let's just do one leg. One, two, three, four. Now the other leg. Lift it. One, two, three, four. And we'll do it again in one minute after we do the toe taps. So we'll do toe taps first. And while we keep busy doing the toe taps, we'll do our different reaches. So we got out to the side to the front and up. So we'll do 45 more seconds like that. Out to the side, to the front and up. Fantastic. 30 more seconds out to the side, to the front and reaching up. Fantastic. Out to the side, to the front and up. Lifting those toes for another 15 seconds out to the side, to the front, and up. I think we got time one more round. Out to the side, to the front, and up. That's perfect. So let's do that calf press again for four. So on our toes, one, two, three, four, and then one leg. One, that's it, two, three, four, and then the other leg, one, very good, two, three, four, fantastic. So now we're going to do the leg lifts, four and four. So we're going to flex one foot and lift it for four, one, two, three, Four, same leg out to the side for four. One, two, I love it. Three, one more time. A four. Let's do the other side now. So out, out with the foot flexed and lift for four. One, two, three, one more. Very good. Four, and then out to the side for four. One. And two, very nice. Three, one more, four. Good, so we're gonna do that set again, but before we do, we're gonna do that uh, cat-cow push-up. So that means we have a little bit of space behind us so we could put our tailbone back, we squeeze our armpits, we roll ourselves back, so we're doing a crunch here, pulling our abs in, and then we inhale our chest out and squeeze the armpits. And we squeeze our arms against our body coming down. 
and then we push up. Now we're going to do that three more times. So exhale for your roll back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. We do it again twice more. Exhale, roll back, pull the abs in. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, up. And then one more time. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, up. Now we're going to do that leg thing one more time. Now I'm getting warm now, so it's good. <laughs> it's good. So four more, four more, and then we'll be done with the leg thing. So flexed foot, we're going to lift for four. One, two, three, one more time, four. Now out to the side for four. One, nice and slow, flexed foot. Two, no need to rush. Three, pressing into this leg. Four, fantastic. Now we do the other leg. Flex foot, lift for four. One, two, beautiful. Three, four, out to the side for four. One, looks good. With the heel, two, enjoy that leg. Three, one more time, four. Fantastic. Release that leg down. Let's use the band now to put behind our chest, or behind our back, I should say. Behind our back, uh, lower than the shoulder blades, yeah. And then over our arm, like a shawl, so, and then over the thumb like that. Perfect. Lift the elbows up, palms forward, we're going to press forward. Yes, inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back, stick, yeah, like that. Exhale, forward, squeeze the armpits. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, squeeze the armpit, like that, yes. Inhale, exhale. We'll call it number four. Four more. Inhale, that's it. Exhale, squeeze those armpits down. Inhale, Exhale, squeeze. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. One more. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Hold it. Bring just one back. Exhale, squeeze. Again, other one though. Yes, bring it back. Let's do three more. Back and forward. Other arm back and forward. Squeeze those armpits again. Back and forward. Other arm back. Okay, one more time. One more time. It's good though. Back and forward. Squeeze that armpit. Back and forward. Now relax those beautiful arms. Woo! Good job. Good job. So we're going to go up now. So the easiest way to do shoulders is to have the arms in a more relaxed state, right? So from here to here. Good. Let's do that again. Up. Exhale down. Shoulders back, chest out, up. Exhale down. One more. Up. Exhale down. Just one arm now. Up and back down. Now the other arm. Up and back down. Let's do three more like that. Up, back down. Up, back down. Looks really good. Two more, two more. Up, back down. Shoulders back, chest out, up, back down. One more time. Up. Back down, looks good. Up, back down. Relax those beautiful arms. Good job, good job. Starting to feel the arms, the shoulders. Perfect. So we got one more, okay? The hug the bear. So we're just gonna do eight basic hug the bears. So open the chest, exhale, hug that bear. Urgh. Inhale, 
Inhale, open the chest, that's it. Exhale, hug the bear, Urgh. two. Big deep breath, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, hug. Four more. Exhale, hug, hard. Urgh. Three more, yeah, that's beautiful. Hug hard, two more, two more. That's it, one more, one more. Fantastic. Let's release those arms, release the band, and we're gonna march for one minute. So you can take a drink at this time, this would be a good time. Yeah, if you have one. If you don't have one, Think about bringing one, maybe next workout. Uh, unless you're on a fluid restriction, then, then don't bring one. But otherwise, you could bring one. So let's do the reaches at the same time. So out to the side, forward, and up. we got 30 more seconds. Out to the side, that's it. Forward, and up. Woo! Like you're getting longer. Out to the side, forward, and up, stretching up even taller. Out to the side, forward, and last one, up. Fantastic. Knee raise, same side, same knee, like same arm and hand for 30 seconds, and then we'll do diagonal. So same for 30, diagonal for 30. Isn't this nice? Woo! Crunch in. Reach and in. 10 seconds left. Reach, inhale, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Diagonal. Good. Nice deep breaths. Try to bring that knee up wherever it could go. Reach as high as you can. 15 more seconds. That's it. Really good. Three, two, one, done. Side bend for a minute. So we're gonna reach up, 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 and gently over. Inhale up and down. That already took 15 seconds just to do the one side. So I don't imagine we'll get more than about three on each side. Reaching up and over. No need to rush. Yeah, that's really good range of motion, by the way. Really good. Your arm is perfect. Yes, really nice. We got time maybe for one more on each side, and that's a minute. Doesn't that feel good? 10 more seconds. Oh, that's nice. Good job, good job. All right, now the twist. So shoulders back, chest out. We wanna feel it here. So make sure, even if you keep the arms crossed, that you're feeling it either in the back here or right on the sides. Exhale over. Yeah, that looks good. Really good for the intercostals, which we end up using if we get a cough. Like if you cough, you're using those intercostals, and the stronger you can make those, the more it'll help the cough, right? Because they assist in the diaphragm. Good job, good job. 20 more seconds left. Really exhale on the twist. Inhale tall. Really exhale on the twist. Like you're trying to wring out your lungs. Exhale on the twist. Inhale, tall, one more time. Exhale on the twist. Good job, good job. So before we do the cat-cow thing again, we're gonna do a little more strength training. So we're gonna do a leg press, calf press, and leg pump. So maybe even a row if we have time. So under, I say always the left foot first for me because it's my 
non-dominant foot, my weaker side, if you will. And then we want a um, row hold. So yeah, microphone hold, bringing the elbows back. We're gonna start with a leg press for eight. So in with the knee and then pressing out a nice tall posture. Shoulders back, chest out, even bum squeezed as you press out, right? Big deep breath. Imagine squeezing your bum as you press out. Squeeze that buttocks. Now four more. Press that leg out. Three more. Those arms look good. Two more. And one more. Hold. Point the toe and retract. Point and retract. Two. Point and retract. Three. Point and retract. Four. Point. Retract. Five. Three more. Six. Again. Seven, one more, eight. Now release the arms and bring them back. Squeeze. Again, release and squeeze. Do it like you're excited. Release and squeeze. Yes, release and squeeze. Now four more times with enthusiasm. Row, squeeze. Three, big deep breaths. Row, squeeze. Two more, two more. Row, squeeze. One more. Row, squeeze. We're going to hold the squeeze. Lift. One. Oh, two. Only six more to go. Think how much you'll smile when you're done. Three. That's it. Four. Oh, just a little further. Five. That's it. Six. Two more, two more, seven, one more and we're done, eight. Woo! Release those arms, release that leg, good job. Now think how much easier it will be now that we're doing the right leg, right? Or our dominant leg, so much easier. Bring those arms back, squeeze them against your rib cage. nice roll position. From here we can bring the knee in and press the heel out. Nice leg press, that's it. Like you're pushing something heavy away. Two, keep the legs tight, or the elbows tight. Three, looks good, looks good. That's for everybody else. Four, good job. Five, again. And pressing out for six, two more, two more. Seven, one more. Eight. Hold, point the toe, and retract the foot. One. And two. It's a calf press, right? Three, just a different way. Four. Five. Enjoying. Six. Almost there. Seven. One more. Eight. Hold that flexed foot. Release the arms forward, still a slight bend, roll them back and squeeze. Release them forward, row and squeeze. Two, almost there. Big deep breaths, squeeze, three. Make those muscles work for it and squeeze for four. Again, release and squeeze those back muscles for five. Nice and tall, six. That's it. Seven. One more, one more. Eight. Hold, lift. One. Almost there. Two. Woo! Doing fantastic. Three. Halfway. Four. Four more, we're done. Three more. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower. One more. Lift and lower and we're done. Good job, good job. Fantastic, you can put the band away. The rest will be uh, exercise or just body weight. To make sure
sure we cool down, right? So let's think of the butterfly first because we didn't do it on the first uh, boost. So we can open up here, shoulders back, chest out, exhale in. Now I want you to count how many you do in one minute. I'm going to count two. So, so far it's two and I'm 10 seconds in. Now 15 seconds. Three. So that should give me about 12. Four. Think about opening the chest as you inhale. Exhale, pull those abs in. The slower, the better. Six, that's why I'm making you count them. Seven, I'm at seven. Whatever number you're at is good. Eight, 10 seconds left. Nine, five seconds. 10, it's about right. 11, good. So you should not get more than 15. You're going way too fast if you get more than 15 of those. So let's do same knee raise, same knee, 30 seconds. And then it'll be diagonal knee, 30 seconds, last round of these, last round. So reach and crunch, reach and crunch. Now reach and crunch and do it some more because we got 15 more seconds. Big deep breaths. Good job. Thank you for these. I like them anyway. I think it does it does a world of good. Exhale over. Really good. Inhale up and release down. Up and over. Let's do it one more time on each side just so we get the three. Up, reach, 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 and then over. And then up. And remember, you never have to look under your arm if you don't want to. You can always just eyes close and let your face go where it's comfortable going. That's good. And release. Good job. Good job. So I wanted to do a few for our shoulders and stuff today. So let's do like a series because we're still in the cool down phase. So we're going to inhale up together and press the hands together. And then bring the palms back, and on the next inhale, open the elbows. And then release the elbows, inhale the arms up, and then exhale them down. All the way down, pressing them together until you feel a nice stretch. And then you release. So we'll do that again twice more, okay? Inhale up, 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 up. Press the hands together. Exhale, let the hands go back. Inhale, the elbows open. Exhale, release those beautiful elbows. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. Good. And now one more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, back, back, back. Inhale, open. Yeah. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time we'll hold. Hold and then press upside down. If you do any um, things with your hands, like this, will feel really nice. Yeah, relax the shoulders. Yeah, I know they want to go off right away. 
funny, right? <laughs> All right, release. That happens with the shoulder stretches too, for whatever reason. The minute we add any weight to the shoulder or whatever, it wants to put us in a compromising position. So turn it here and then bring the shoulder down. Perfect. As long as you feel it somewhere here, you're getting it right. It looks different on every person. So just because it looks one way on me, doesn't mean it'll look the same for you. So do the other side now. Remember reaching first to like open the chest and then across and in. And then from that position, we bring the shoulder blade down. It's always trying to make space between the ear and the shoulder. Yeah, that looks good. You feel it right away if you do that. Fantastic. Good, good, good. All right, so let's start with the legs now. So we'll do hamstrings since they're our most important stretch. And since we're doing hamstrings, let's go chest expansion first. So we're going to reach back or press back our choice, tuck our chin in. This gives us our neutral spine. We want to flex the foot, but we can bend the knee. We want to bring the chest towards the leg that's extended. Take the chin and relax it, tuck it in. Keep reaching back with the arms. Take a deeper breath. And if you can, press the chest closer to the extended leg while still reaching back. Hold it, relax the face. Tuck the chin in and do it one more time. Keep reaching back. Yeah, right? Now on the next exhale, release your hands down. That's going to feel good. Release your head down and take three more deeper breaths here. Settle into the position. Notice where it's tight on your body. Imagine breathing into that space. Softening it. Releasing any tightness. One more breath. Very good. Now gently walk it up. You notice how it changes as you get into it? Like at first maybe it's like in one spot and then by the end you get to the real depth of the stretch. Like for me it will go right into my lower back after I get deeper into it, which is good. It, it reminds me that, oh, it's tight back there. Okay, flex foot, shoulders back, chest out, because the hamstrings are usually the, the key that unlocks those tight lower backs. So pressing the chest forward. That's why there's such an important stretch. Tuck the chin in, keep reaching back. So we get the chest stretch and we get the hamstring here. Big deep breath and press the chest forward. Now you should feel either the calf or the hamstring, one of those really talking to you right now. Take a deep, big deep breath and then release your hands and head down. Now as you release down like this, the stretch would probably change. Take a deeper breath and relax even further into the stretch, relaxing the face and head, maybe the shoulders. One more deep breath. Notice the stretch. Relax into it. And then walk it up when you're ready. Ooh, nice, right? It's good, yeah. Oh, that's so good for us. Good job, good job. And then for the hips, not everybody is ready to go right into a flamingo or a, or a pigeon. So it's recommended that the safer alternative is this. And then you put your leg down. And then you do the other side. Open. You're trying to get the knee open a little bit and then do the other and then release it. Let's do it one more time on each side. Good. Very good. Nice. And then open. Very good. Good. And then before uh, we go today, we're just going to do a quick, um, let's say, torso stretch. So we'll take opposite hand to knee and just turn towards that side. Very good. And then if you're able to raise the back arm up and reach up with the back arm as you reach over through the knee. Good. And now if you want to take it a little further, you exhale over, over your head. There you go. And then come back up, inhale, exhale, release. And then you go to the other side. So reach through the knee, 
Reach the back arm back so you're doing your nice twist. And then you inhale the back arm up, up, up. Reach through both hands. And then exhale gently over. All through the torso. Good job. Inhale up. And then exhale, release. Wasn't that nice? That's a nice torso. Huh? All right. Good job. Good job. Have a great day, and I'll see you on Wednesday, and we'll talk about more fun ways to do workouts. All right? Have a great day.